I'd like to thank Meals on Wheels for calling attention to senior hunger and for the foundation and the great research that it does. Uh, I'm glad to be entered into this challenge. I think I have some creative ways to convey my ideas and, and hopefully coordinate a bunch of different ideas into a cohesive approach. One of the things that struck me when looking at uh, the challenges was that while they're listed as separate challenges, they're, they're actually all related. And I relate that to health care, and I work on both sides, the hospital long-term care side as well. So I see the whole continuum of care, and I see it blurring, and I see people struggling to figure out who they're going to be in their next iteration and how they're all going to work together. And if we can get the continuum of care actually working together, we have a better uh, chance of bringing the issues of obesity, for example, proper nutrition, and hunger uh, to the fore. And so I'd like to start, first of all, with the hospital side and something uh, called medical home. Uh, this is an idea where a physician practice, a primary care practice, uh, for example, uh, and primarily, it will be responsible for the total health of an individual. Uh, you know, before you would go to your doctor when you were sick, uh, they would order some uh, certain tests and things like that, and they got paid for all of that, and so they were uh, obviously in their advantage to uh, lay on the test, and we all know there's defensive medicine involved in that as well. Well, the new uh, paradigm in healthcare is going to be about bundled payments, getting paid a certain amount for keep each patient well. And when you look at total wellness, then you're going to look beyond their medical condition and look at their whole living situation. So the first thing we need to do is get more of our seniors to go into these NCQA medical home practices for their care because they will be treated more holistically as a whole person and where a lot of these different issues will be addressed. Will there, be, there will be dietitians on staff and geriatricians. The other thing is conversely we need to educate the primary care physicians, these medical homes, about the issues that you're bringing to the forefront. Okay so that's one thing. Now let's do a bridge. There's a growing uh, profession, actually two professions. One is the geriatric care manager and the other one is patient advocates. Patient advocates are as, as described. Uh, they are people who can accompany patients to doctor's appointments and advocate for the best absolute health care that they need. Geriatric care managers are obviously uh, looked, uh, looking at the senior population specifically and so they have uh, more looking at coordination of care for our seniors and sometimes courting medical care, but even more than that. These are two great bridges to the continuum of health care, uh, two great eyes that can actually know more about the seniors out in the community and, and their home situation and whether they are uh, food deprived, whether they are obese, whether they're having proper nutrition, all of these issues. These are eyes and ears on the ground, as is next industry, home health. Home health needs to be trained to understand the signs and symptoms of senior hunger uh, and so that they can identify at-risk populations. But the long-term care industry as well, continuing care retirement communities, assisted living nursing homes, they actually have a great knowledge of how to feed a culturally diverse and demanding boomer population, right? So we can actually turn to them for ideas around proper nutrition, uh, serving food so that it becomes an experience that people want to enjoy and therefore uh, take in. I know my mother, uh, 91 years old, she uh, eats for substance, not for social socialization as I happen to do. We love to go out to dinner with friends and enjoy all that. If we can make it more of an experience for some of our seniors, maybe we will get them to eat uh, uh, properly and avoid some of these issues. Uh, I'd also like to encourage you to look at some solutions that are out there where the continuum of care is being brought together in one place, like PACE programs. And also uh, an entity in Florida, in Melbourne and Orlando called One Senior Place, a congregation of all senior related types of industries in one space, easily accessible to the senior and to the caregiver. And so great place to have information like this as well. And finally, to kind of unite this continuum, I'm on the board of something called the Consumer Consortium for Person-Centered Living. Now that's a mouthful, but the key term there is person-centered living. You know, in hospitals we have patient-centered care, uh, we have the culture change movement in nursing homes, and that's person-centered care, resident-centered care. But this is about not care, not about the four walls of an institution, but a person 
who's living their life and is going to ac access care outside the four walls of hospitals, nursing homes, assisted living, etc. They're going to age in place. And when they age in place, they should be afforded the same dignity and respect and choice that their elder counterparts in the facilities receive as well. And so this organization, the Consumer Consortium for Advancing Person-Centered Living, is a uniter of all of these disparate efforts in healthcare, which can be very siloed. So simply the solution is to unite a continuum of care around these issues, the medical home being the crux, but your eyes and ears in the community through uh, patient advocates, geriatric care managers, home health professionals, some advice maybe on the cuisine and food services piece from, from our long-term care counterparts, and then uniting the continuum around uh, this cons consumer consortium, this idea of person-centered living. Now, um, Bruce Springsteen has a song, Everybody Has a Hungry Heart, I thought because uh, it was close to a theme that uh, is related to hunger, that it might be a great song to then change the lyrics to and actually convey all of these points in a song. So that'll be upcoming next, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.